We always say that anyone can cloth diaper anywhere. So why leave your cloth diapers at home when you travel? <laughs> On this Cersei's Live, we're gonna talk all about how to travel with cloth diapers. If you already use cloth diapers, that's your regular norm, you can absolutely travel with cloth. It's really not as hard as you might think. So we're going to break this down for some things to think about before you leave for your trip. We're going to talk about what to pack and then we'll talk about some of the logistics of actually using your cloth while you travel. So if you are watching this and you have traveled with cloth, we would love to hear about your experiences. And so just to give you guys a little bit of incentive to jump in on the conversation, we are going to do a flash giveaway and choose one winner from the Facebook video comments and one winner from the YouTube video comments to win your choice of Thirsty's wet bag that we have in stock at thirstysbaby.com because these guys are going to make traveling with cloth and packing for your travel so much easier. So all you need to do to enter is to just leave a comment. We'll leave this open during the live broadcast and through the weekend and this giveaway will close on Sunday, which would be May 19th. And then I'll announce a winner on Facebook and on Instagram, or excuse me, Facebook and YouTube Monday morning. All right, so let's talk about what to think about before packing for your trip, okay? First off, you want to think about where you're going, what that setup is going to be. How long are you going to be gone? What kind of access to laundry are you going to have on your trip? Okay, what might your drying situation be when you're away on your trip? All of those things, just kind of think ahead to where you're going and what to anticipate because then you can be prepared. All right, so now let's talk about packing diapers. All right, whenever I was traveling with cloth, I always liked to take the average amount of cloth diapers that my baby would use in a day, and then I would add an extra two diapers on top of that because. I say you always want to be prepared with more than with less. Um, oh, and Kristen, one of our viewers, that's a great question. She's asking, what about swimming? You also want to not just pack your cloth diapers, but also pack reusable swim diapers as well. Okay, that is definitely something to put on your packing list. So for me, when I was traveling with Klaus, and you need to know your baby too. For example, younger kiddos, they go through more diapers versus older children. They tend to go through less. But I found that if I packed at least 10 diapers per every day that I was gone, or let's say if I was planning on washing, I would figure out how many days between the washes I would have and pack, you know, 10 diapers for each day. And so I had enough to cover my trip. Okay. All right. So also another thing too, that you want to think about is not just the diapers that you're bringing, but especially if you're doing a long car ride or a long plane ride, you are gonna want to probably treat those diapers almost like nighttime diapers. So I would add some extra absorbency to any diaper that your kiddo is wearing while you're traveling. Um, Sadie, um, she is saying love traveling with cloth especially duo wraps on the plane even if it's over disposables yes to not have any blowouts absolutely even if you decide not to travel with cloth you really should put a cover over your disposable because those elastics there that's gonna save you from mess 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 
<laughs> and who wants to deal with a mess in the car seat or on a plane in those tiny little bathrooms? Mm. Whatever you do, even if you use disposable, put a wrap over it. Yeah. Okay. It, it is really easy to pack. Yeah, absolutely. So it's always better to have more than enough or more than less, right? And I always preferred when traveling, I liked packing diapers that I knew would dry quickly. This is especially important if you're going to go to maybe a nice tropical place where it might be humid and it might take your diapers longer to dry, right? Right. So here are the diapers, actually probably my favorite type of diaper to travel with because it dries quickly and it saves space packing is the Stay Dry Duo Insert. This is an all-in-two insert that you pair with Duo Wraps. And the thing that's great about an all-in-two system is if baby just wets in one of these, you just remove the wet insert and you can reuse the cover with a fresh insert, okay? So it's less packing. And two, the thing that's nice about this is that it snaps apart. So this is easy to wash and it dries fairly quickly because the top here is synthetic microfiber and the back is hemp. Now hemp's gonna take a little longer to dry, but as, as a combo, especially since these come apart, I mean, and you can even spend some time kind of fluffing the hemp out after you've washed it to kind of help it dry faster. Um, these are great. Another type of diaper that dries quickly is a pocket diaper. Actually, this pocket diaper matches my shirt. Isn't that lovely? So this is an original pocket diaper and the inserts come out. It's again a microfiber hemp blend, but they come apart and the cover dries super fast when you're using the stay dry insert with the duo wrap the duo wraps are really easy to hand wash and they clean cloth diapers sure has come a long way since you were a baby yes modern cloth diapers ain't your grandma's diapers man it's true um it they can be super super convenient speaking of which another type of diaper that dries really fast is thirsty's original all-in-one because this is a microfiber diaper so it dries very quickly and it also dries really super soft too can you see the top layer there that's this nice soft polar fleece if you're traveling with this on a plane you might want to consider adding a hemp insert to it so you would just take the hemp insert and put it underneath because that's going to, this isn't the most absorbent diaper in Thirsty's lineup, but it's very easy to boost. So you would just put the hemp insert under there. Okay. Um, Nikki's saying she used wraps and covers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So those are the diapers that you want to think through packing. What I really like to do when I was traveling is I like to actually pack each day's worth of diapers in a wet bag and then I would have an additional wet bag for that day so I'd have my diapers packed in what wet one wet bag and then I would have another wet bag that I would then put the dirty diapers in okay and so that's where it makes storage really, really easy is packing with wet bags. And then you throw in a couple of extra. And actually, I tell you what, these get really handy on road trips too. They're great for organizing toys, um, putting in extra clothes. Truth be told, might be TMI, but my son has even used this as like a throw up bag in the car because he used to get car sick. A lot so he would always have a wet bag just kind of tucked right next to him in his car seat and it's definitely come in handy unfortunately hopefully you don't have to deal with that on um, your your travels but you know you never know oh your family's driving Colorado to Illinois awesome yes road trip all the wet bags man all the wet bags 
I already talked about having swim diapers. If you're doing a lot of swimming, you probably want to have three with you. Okay, so one extra one in case, you know, baby poops in it and then it's out of commission. So you have another one to change in. And then an additional third one that's dry because, you know, these guys do need to dry. I mean, I guess you can put a wet swim diaper on your kiddo, but mine always hated that. So, oh yeah, the throat. Yes. Oh, it, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't let throw up sit in this for a long time, but it does, it does help. Absolutely. Um, three, you say, Laura made me buy it. <laughs> yeah, three, I think three swim diapers is a reasonable amount. Um, although if you have a real pool baby, you might need a little extra more. Yeah. All right. Swim diapers, cloth wipes. You absolutely can take cloth wipes. Again, I would use the same kind of math that you did for how many diapers to bring with how many cloth wipes to bring. How many do you tend to go through in a day? And instead of doing an extra two, since it's wipes and they're smaller and they just come in handy a lot, I would pack an extra four. Okay, and two, it might be easiest um, to just wet them when you get to your destination or have a couple that are pre-moistened in a wet bag or if you have a little smaller kind of wet bag tote, um, that would be what I would bring in the plane. I just always have one of those in my purse anyway. Yeah, wet bags are a great baby shower gift. You're right, For even for folks who don't use cloth diapers. I love them. Um, so people are asking for hints. You guys gotta, you gotta wait. I gotta get through my content first before I get to spill any kind of beans, which I can't really spill many beans, but, ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna just keep going so I don't like talk and like say something by mistake. Another thing too, especially if you plan on doing laundry while you're away, and really, you shouldn't go more than three days between your wash. Um, why? Because the longer a cloth diaper sits dirty, the harder it is to wash. And you also don't want to give too much time for ammonia to, well, for the urine to break down into ammonia because that, that's part of what makes it difficult to wash. And it just prevents from mold or anything else festering in your cloth. So I would, if I was planning on like hand washing while I was away, I would just do a little hand wash load every day. And then, I mean, you can do that in a hotel. I would do my pre-wash literally in the toilet and then I do the hot wash just by hand in the sink. If you are planning on washing, um, hopefully you'll have laundry facilities. Check before you leave, but pack a powdered detergent that you know and love on your trip. It's hard to travel with liquid detergent. If you would prefer liquid, I would just plan on buying your detergent when you get to your destination. So make sure that that detergent is available. But this is just a cloth safe detergent here. I even got the scoop in and I would just pack, pack your own detergent. Some people, um, Actually, you can get like little sample packets too, and that can be great to travel with as well. All right, did someone go on a tour? Oh, someone went on a warehouse tour and they're asking her for hints. Ha! Well, okay, I'll just stay out of that. So that's what to pack, right? Diapers, wet bags, swim diapers, cloth wipes if you want. Oh, I forgot to say, just whatever your regular cloth safe cream is, it could be Booty Love or um, even just straight up coconut oil works great with cloth. Whatever it is, just bring your regular cream that you use with your cloth at home, bring it with you on vacation. And then if you plan on washing, bring your powder detergent. Let's say you're going on a long weekend trip for Memorial Day and you're going to be gone Friday and you get back Sunday evening. You're not going to need to wash your diapers while you're away. You're, you can just bring your dirty diapers home and do laundry when you get home. 
okay? Here is one thing to think about that I forgot to mention before you travel is try to time when you do your diaper laundry before you leave. So one, you're not leaving dirty diapers or wet diapers. You want your diapers that you're leaving at home to be at least hanging to dry. Um, and if like, let's say you do laundry the night before you go, then all you need to bring when you leave is your overnight diaper. And that you can just throw in your wet bag, right? Cause you might be doing, you absolutely can hand wash with powder detergent. That's a great question, Jen. Yes, you can. I would recommend letting, um, and this is even when you're doing it in, in a machine, I would put in the recommended amount of detergent, which if you're hand washing, it probably wouldn't even be a whole scoop to hand wash. Um, and I mean this, let's see, I think this might be a tablespoon size scoop. So you're not gonna be using a whole lot if you're doing just one day's worth of laundry. It might even be like just that, not even a full, whoop, not even a full scoop. Um, okay. So time when you do laundry before you go. Don't leave dirty diapers sitting at home. And this is important even if you're using disposable on your vacation. You do want to be smart about the timing of your laundry. All right. Now let's talk about Let's say you're going to be gone, though, longer than a long weekend. You're going to have to wash your diapers. And remember, anyone anywhere can cloth diaper. And we just did a video about hand washing. So you guys can go check that out. I might put it in the comments or someone, if someone has that, go post that in the comments here. And yes. Elizabeth just said, traveling with poopy cloth diapers scares me. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the poop. So, a couple of things. When you're traveling, a lot of people like using flushable liners to make the removal of poop easier. Most flushable liners can't technically be flushed, although some people fudge on that. Um, another thing that someone has mentioned in the groupies is using Viva paper towels and you just cut those into strips and that works in a pinch for a liner. Another thing too for the poopy diapers while you're traveling is do your first initial couple of wipes with toilet paper so you don't have to deal with poopy wipes and it all can just go in the toilet. Another thing that you can do is get a peri bottle or just a regular water bottle and especially one that you can squeeze and kind of get a little bit of pressure with and use that to help rinse and remove poop off of your cloth diapers. Um, actually one of our Thursdays groupies Stacy shared that tip for traveling with cloth in our awesome cloth diapering group that you all should be in the Thursdays groupies. So yes you can use those flushable liners Use a water bottle to spray the poop off. Um, you could even use toilet paper to help remove some of the poop. But it's really, I mean, baby's poop and we deal with it, right? You deal with it at home, you deal with it when you're traveling. Um, and yeah, I do the first couple of wipes with toilet paper, I think makes it really easy. Fleece liners are also great because um, poop comes off really easily with the with the fleece liners for sure okay so i've talked a little bit lastly let's talk a little bit about washing so let's say maybe you're going over to a you're visiting family or friends ask them if they wouldn't mind if you washed while you were there um, my parents and my in-laws have always been really great with that um, they're very supportive of my cloth diapering i would yeah, I always brought my own detergent because it's just something that, you know, I know what works with my cloth, so I like packing my own detergent. Um, another thing, too, is you can totally hand wash your cloth diapers. It's It takes a little, you know, elbow grease, but you definitely can do it. Um, the thing is just to be sure that you follow those same principles of cloth diapering uh, laundry 
removal of waste, pre-washing, hot wash with the right amount of detergent and good agitation, and then rinse and extra rinses as needed. And the thing about hand washing too is you are literally the washing machine. So you're gonna know if you're doing a good job or not. You know, you should be able to wash your diapers and do the sniff test at the end and make sure that they're fully clean, okay? Another thing that you might wanna think through and before you leave is how are you going to dry your diapers? Let's say you envision yourself drying your cloth diapers on the balcony, you know, which actually one groupie was saying like, the hot sun was awesome for drying my diapers. And yes, it is. Maybe bring a couple of clothespins so you can put it on the balcony and just pin this together because how sad would it be if like an ocean breeze like swept your cloth away? That would be really sad. So just kind of think through too how you're going to dry your diapers as well. But folks, that's the... That's how you travel with cloth diapers. It's really not, if you're already cloth diapering, you can totally do this. You can. Um, but you know, if you don't wanna bother with it and you wanna use disposables on vacation, hey, you do you, that's fine. Just put a cover over it because you don't wanna deal <laughs> with blowouts while you're traveling. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, just a little reminder on this live video on Facebook and when we repost it on YouTube, if you comment on this video, you have entered yourself into a nice little giveaway for your choice of a Thirsty's wet bag available at thirstiesbaby.com. I think the Facebook video is going to be giveaway is going to be open to us and the youtube giveaway is going to be open worldwide so whether you're international or not you have a giveaway to enter okay thanks so much for hanging out with us and we will see you guys next week on thursday's live happy travels